Well, a nine-meter-high statue of Nelson Mandela was unveiled at the Union Buildings in Pretoria a day after the anti-apartheid icon's funeral in Kunu. CNBC Africa's reporter Nadira Pierre was there and filed this report. It was after South Africa's first democratic elections in 1994 that the Day of Covenant was renamed the Day of Reconciliation. This year, December 16th, marks the end of the 10 days of mourning for former President Nelson Mandela. In an occasion planned before Madiba's death, South African President Jacob Zuma unveiled a four and a half ton statue in the gardens of the Union Buildings in Pretoria. This one is different from many. He's stretching up his hands, although with the same footwork, because he's on his move. This denotes that South Africa is now a democratic country. He is embracing the whole nation. He is advancing to the nation to say, let us come together, let us unite. That is the interpretation of the change of how the hands are now working on this one. Symbolically, it was here at the Union Buildings where Nelson Mandela was inaugurated, the first democratically elected president of South Africa. It was also here where he spent his last three days in Gauteng, his body lying in state for thousands of mourners to come through and pay their last tributes. The nine meter tall bronze statue depicts Mandela standing proud, his hands open and arms outstretched. Koketso Growth was appointed by the Ministry of Arts and Culture to create this majestic work of art. To produce uh, a Madiba that is sort of captures everybody's idea of Madiba is incredibly challenging. Mr. Tambo gave us um, the instruction that it will be installed at the Union Buildings. So we had to work around the oh environment <laughs> and um, so we decided to repeat the, the shape of the Union Buildings. We we actually can't believe it. It feels quite surreal. It's, we, we'd, we've been working on this project for about seven months and which is probably seven months too little for something like this and it has been very intense it's been a roller coaster ride and um, and we've all been very we're very humbled and very proud to have been able to participate in something like this it's just um, it's sort of like going to the moon <laughs> last week the business community held a memorial service to pay tribute to Mandela for laying a solid foundation to do business in the new South Africa Shamil Jusup, CEO of Vodacom, was part of the VIP contingent at the unveiling. I think it's really brilliant. I think, uh, you know, the uh, open arms embracing the nation, I think, is, is very apt. And, um, and I think it's a, it's a nice place for, for everyone to continue to come and pay uh, respects uh, to, uh, to, to our beloved Madiba. Shortly after the unveiling, to cheers and singing, President Zuma addressed thousands of people in the gardens of the Union buildings. Today, as we mark a special day in the history's calendar, National Reconciliation Day, we recommit ourselves to peace, forgiveness, tolerance and reconciliation. These values were the hallmarks of the presidency of Madiba. Yesterday, Zuma also declared the Union Buildings a national heritage site. 